Alrighty, man. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Real Hood Life series. And as you guys can see, man, today today's episode. You know what I'm saying? We're doing another video here for you guys, man. I will still be streaming some GTA 5 today. Uh, I just got to figure out exactly what I want to do during the stream. But today in today's episode, man, we actually have a new truck to pick up. Now, this truck is available on 5 Mods, so you guys can download it. Hopefully, I'll remember to put the download link in the description down below. But, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to hop on into that. But we actually have a buyer for this guy right here, man. Now, you know, we weren't really keeping this guy just yet. You know what I'm saying? We weren't really keeping it. We found a buyer. We found somebody that want to go ahead and take it up off us. You know what I'm saying? So we got to go ahead and drop it off uh, in this episode. I actually forgot to test out the trailer to see if the trailer still worked on the new RAM. So, yeah, we're going to have to see how, we're gonna have to see about that and see if that goes. So we're going to make our way to the shop, man. We're going to make our way to our rim shop because that's where the RAM is actually at. And uh, we're going to we're gonna see, man, because I actually got to spawn the trailer in and all that. So we'll, we'll see. We'll see. We're actually going to load this up onto the back of the trailer. And uh, we'll go ahead and take this to the new customer, man. Or we'll take it to the new buyer's house. Because, you know what I'm saying? We might as well. We might as well go ahead and sell this guy. Plus, we don't really have too much money. And then after we go ahead and sell it, you know, I just want to go over these speed bumps. I ain't even going to lie. This car has a real soft suspension. So I just want to go over these speed bumps. But, yeah, man. Um, like I was saying, bro, uh, we, we're actually going to do a little bit of trapping today, today's episode as well. So... Yeah, man, hopefully you guys do enjoy this, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode. Because, you know, we are still at the beginning of Season 3. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to go ahead and make sure we make some money. We got $101,000. I actually thought we had, like, 60000 or something like that. But I forgot. We did We did a bunch of trapping. And we made some real good money off uh, some cocaine, I think it was. So, yeah, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this episode, though. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to make our way around. We're going to go and pick up this truck. Look at all these shopping carts right here. I don't think I ever seen these shopping carts really here. Like, I didn't even know that they had them shopping carts here. But okay. Let's go ahead. We're going to make our way on over there, man. Let's see. All right, let's keep on going. So, yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Starting up with season three. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this season because we will be doing a little bit more trapping. I did say we we're going to take everything a little slower. So, you know what I'm saying? And also, man, we're actually, since we're selling this, I don't even know how much we're going to sell this, you know, sell this car for because the rims cost more than the actual car. So, uh, I guess we'll, we'll sell it for, we'll sell it for $12,000. We'll, we'll do $12,000. All right. And then we got to, well, actually, we'll do it for $15,000. And then about $5,000 got to go to Simeon for the car, even though we didn't even pick it up from his actual spot. We had it dropped off at our house. But yeah, man, five thousand got to go to Simeon, so we really only get paid ten thousand for this car. You know what I'm saying? That, that's really what we're doing. We're out here marketing these cars for Simeon now. But I already told you, the shop is like right around the corner to the right. We're gonna be able to go ahead and uh, I'm gonna be able to show you guys this RAM, man. Like I did say, this RAM is on GTA5Mods.com, so you guys can download it. And hopefully, I remember to put the link in the description down below so that you guys can do so. All right, so we're pulling in. There's the RAM right there. Looking pretty damn nice, man. Looking pretty damn nice. 2019 Dodge Ram. Now, um, let's actually see. I'm going to go ahead and spawn in the uh, the trailer. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go ahead and see how this is going to go. Hopefully, everything does work out. And we can go ahead and do this. But let me show you guys the RAM real quick. You know what I'm saying, man? This is what we're working with. It is on some floaters. I don't know how big these rims are. I think they're probably 34s. That's what they kind of look like, man. They look like some huge ass 34s, man. So, you know what I'm saying? We got the tow hitch back there and all of that good stuff. So, yeah, man. Let's go ahead and get the trailer spawned in. And let's go ahead and get this guy loaded up so that we can go ahead and drop it off. All right, here we go, man. We got the trailer spawned in. Now, if you guys remember, I used to use this trailer a lot. But, you know what I'm saying? I stopped using it because the new trailer came out. And this trailer likes to crash my game every now and again. But I, I gotta be, I'm, I'm forced to use this trailer now because the other trailer that I usually use, that trailer does not work on my game anymore for some reason. So I gotta figure out what's up with that. But let's go ahead and get this guy loaded up. So we can go ahead and go do this delivery, man. You know what I'm saying? We didn't even hook it up to the truck, but you know, it's all good. So we can go ahead and load it up. There we go. All right, so y'all already know we gotta use menu to go ahead and get it hooked up and all that good stuff, but yeah, we're gonna go ahead and get it loaded up, and we're gonna get those ramps lifted up, and then we gotta load, and then we gotta hook up the uh, the truck, man. Let's actually hold up before we even do any of that. Let's make sure that the truck can hook up to the trailer. 
Because that's one thing that I definitely wanted to make sure. So let, let's, let me make sure that the truck can hook up to the trailer. Let's see. We Oh, yeah. There we go. Hooked up with no problems. All right. So we're going to go ahead and let me see. I'm going to back it up just a little bit just in case somebody does uh, drive in here. All right. So we're going to go ahead and get it hooked up, strapped down, and we're going to get them ramps uh, loaded up too. And then we're going to go ahead and make this drop off uh, delivery, man. All righty, man. Here we go. Got it strapped up and the ramps are now, you know what I'm saying? They're, they're now retracted. Let's go ahead and make this delivery. Uh, well, this delivery is actually going into, uh, I forgot I forgot the actual name of the spot, but it's actually going over here, El Bureau Heights. So the dude that wanted to buy it is actually going over there. So we're going to have to go ahead and uh, drop this off. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Because you guys have actually been asking for some hauling jobs for a while. So you know what I'm saying? I, and I haven't been doing any, surprisingly. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to be back doing some hauling jobs. So hopefully you guys do uh, enjoy this, man. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this. Because I'm about to enjoy this for sure. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely enjoying this. I love doing these hauling jobs. I just had to take a break from them because I was doing them a lot for a certain period of time. So I had to go ahead and take a little, a, a minor, small, tiny break from doing them. So, you know what I'm saying? We were, we're back doing these hauling jobs now, though. So, you know what I'm saying? Especially since we got a, a, a new truck that can do some hauling now. So, you know what I'm saying, man? Definitely let me know what y'all think about this 2019 Dodge Ram. And if y'all uh, if y'all like it and want to see more hauling jobs like this, then let me know. I, the only thing is that I really don't want to do too many of these hauling jobs live because, like I did say, this trailer does cause my game to crash very, uh, fairly easily. So uh, I think it'll be a good idea if I just did all these, most of these hauling jobs, as a post video, so that I can cut the crashes out of my game. I mean, out of the video. I can go to cut them out of the video. So you guys aren't sitting there watching me reload my game two, three times every stream and stuff man because that, that's that's something that devo motivates me for doing streams and it makes me not want to you know what i'm saying it makes me not want to do certain things on live streams man so uh yeah man because this trailer will crash my game and, and you know it's known for crashing the game actually you know it's a lot of people not even just me that have the issue with this trailer crashing their game so you know what i'm saying it's, it's just like a known issue with this tra uh, with this trailer for some reason that's why I was so happy when the new trailer came out because that new trailer does not crash my game at all. Like, that new trailer is just like A1 glizzy, but for some reason, it doesn't want to spawn in my game. So, I got to figure out why it doesn't want to do that. <laughs> and we're going to need to get some gas, too, so. All right, we're almost at our location, though. We're dropping the car off right over here. So, let's go ahead. Let's make our way around. We're going to go ahead and drop this guy off. And then we got to do some trapping uh, today as well. So, you know what I'm saying? We got to try and make us some more money. Because we do got to buy that uh, We do gotta buy that trap spot so we can start making some more money out of the trap spot. You know what I'm saying? We're on our way to Kingpin status. Or back to the top. You know what I'm saying? Back to the top of Kingpin status. All right. So, we done made it over here to our location. I'm actually surprised uh, at how well this, uh, this is actually going. So, this is where they actually live. They want it here. Let me pull up a little bit more. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's get it. Uh, let's get it uh, detached and let's get the ramps down so we can go ahead and uh, finish up. All righty, man. Here we go. Got it unloaded and uh, unstrapped. So let's go ahead and uh, let me hop on in. Hopefully, we don't have any major glitching. I forgot because when you do get out of the, I mean, when you do get in the car that's on the trailers, they do glitch. So. Now we got it good now though we're good to go no issues go ahead and unload there we go a little drop right there a little drop all right so now we done we done basically sold our first car for the legal business the legal side of our business so let's go ahead let's drop this guy off right here there we go let me go ahead and leave the keys for him all right we're good to go now there we go. Then left them keys for them. Now we gotta go ahead and get these. Uh, we gotta get. Uh, you know, what? I'll go ahead and do. It. Like, let me see. Can I use? Can I just? Oh, I can. All right. I'm gonna just go ahead and use use the uh, trainer to get rid of the ramps this time. So uh, yeah, there we go. All right. So we're basically done there. We can go and drop the trailer back off. I didn't even unlock my door, but we can go and drop the trailer back off at our shop because we're basically done with it now. And then we can go ahead and uh, we can start trapping now. 
Now hold up. Actually, we gotta hit up a gas station too before we continue. So oh, we gotta turn around. Let me let me see if I can back this trailer up. Let's see if I can back this trailer up and get it uh get it to where I ain't gotta do too much. You know what I'm saying? Too much driving around. All right, so we're gonna turn it around right here. That was kind of low right there. All right. Go ahead. Got to make sure I can make it. All right, there we go. Let's go ahead and go grab us some gas now. So definitely, definitely let me know what you guys think about uh, about this truck, man, because I'm, I'm really loving it. I'm really loving it. I actually do like this truck a lot. You know what I'm saying? It's not that bad of a uh, truck. It's not that bad of a truck, man. But we will have to pull up on some plugs uh, now. And I actually got to go ahead and add the money for us, too. Alright, so here we go. We done made it over here. Is the gas tank on the right or the left? I think it's on the right. Or you can't even see it. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and we'll just fill up. We'll just go ahead and fill it up right here. Alright, it's actually taking a little second to fill up. That's surprising. I didn't even know that uh, trucks kind of took that long to fill up. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and drop the ramp off at the at the spot at our shop i mean at the ramp drop the trailer off at the uh at the shop and then we got to go ahead and we got to drop off uh simeon's 5k and then we got to add our 10k so we can go ahead and finish up with the job man because we're basically done we done did the work just got to make sure we drop off simeon's money so he don't you know what i'm saying think we out here doing shit. And we're gonna start doing more hauling jobs like this because you know, there's going to be more uh, customers that are actually going to, they're basically going to hit up Frank, uh, not Franklin, they're going to, well, yeah, actually, they're going to hit up Franklin and Simeon. First, they're going to hit up Simeon, get the car, and then we got to go and pick up the car from Simeon's shop, bring it to our shop, get some rims put on there, and then we're going to deliver it to their house. So, that's really how it's going to be going uh, for our new rim shop. gonna see it we're gonna see if we can basically take a little bit of uh los santos customers business try and make us some money man all right here we go man doing pretty good though doing pretty good all right so we're almost at our shop we gotta drop the trailer off and then once we drop this trailer off we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna go ahead and come up, come back up the street to Simeon's shop. And it's kind of funny how we got a shop literally, literally down the street from Simeon. I could actually go in this way. Now I do have like a little back way to my shop right here. So this way I ain't gotta worry about trying to back out or you know go out another way. I can just pull right on in. There ain't nobody here, surprisingly. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and drop the trailer right there because we're basically done with it. Now let's go ahead and make our way on over here to Simeon shot so we can drop off his 5K. All right, there we go. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think about this uh, about this Ram, man. Because I really do like it. You know what I'm saying? I really do like it. All right, we'll go ahead and now, you know what? Nah, we'll pull in. Go ahead. I'm a back end too. You know what I'm saying? I'm a back. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I'm a back end. This man, he gonna try and buy my truck. I ain't selling it though. Oh, he ain't even try to buy it. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let me go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and drop off his money. You know what I'm saying? We gotta drop off his. Gotta drop off his 5k. All right. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. All right. And then we got to add 15K for us. So 10K. Or oh, actually, no. We just add the 10K. Or no. We got to add. Oh, yeah, yeah. The 10K. The 10K. That, that's actually. No. We got to add 5K more. So that's one, two, three, four. Yeah. There we go. That's good enough. That's good enough right there. So we just got paid 10K for our job. Now let's go ahead and do some traveling. Let's pop up on a couple plugs. See if they have any. Oh, we gotta come out of the building first before I can do that. All right, we're gonna pop up on a couple plugs. See if we can make some sales or some buys. 
know what I'm saying? There's money out here to be made. So let's go ahead and see what we can do. Uh, we got this plug right here. Might as well head to this plug since he is kind of the closest. He is kind of the closest. So let's go ahead and head to this plug real quick. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be doing a lot of trapping at the beginning of this series just because, uh, you know what I'm saying? That's kind of like one of our main ways of making money right now. Let me see. What we could do is we could really just like stack up on some cocaine, spend 100K on the trap spot, and, you know what I'm saying, just wait and let that, you know, do what it do. But yeah, as you guys can see, man, cocaine is a pretty damn high ass price right now. So I don't think I really want to even do that. So we're going to go ahead and take this crack. We're going to take this hash. Take the MDMA. Profits all right here, man. Profits all right here. We're going to take the weed. Go ahead and take the, the tranks. And we're going to take the PO, I guess. All right, so everything else is being left with him. Hopefully, we can find somebody that's taking this stuff before we find people that's actually that actually have other stuff for prices, for better prices. I ain't even gonna lie. I'm actually surprised that the trailer didn't crash my game. I haven't used that trailer in so long, so I was expecting it to crash my game. But yeah, man, it actually worked out. All right, let's go to make our way half a mile until we get to the next plug. All right, man, we're gonna be able to make this, uh, make a, hopefully make a sale. So we can make us some money. How much money did we just spend? Oh, we just spent like $9,000 on the current drugs that we had to go ahead and get. So hopefully we can definitely be able to make some, uh, make some money back real quick. I mean, 9,000 isn't too much, considering that we should be able to make at least double that back from everything that we bought. So we're gonna go ahead and see, man. We should be able to make at least double that back. Let's go ahead and test it out real quick, man. We should be good to go. Should be good to go with double that. All right, let's go ahead and see. I ain't even gotta lock that. All right, let's see, man. Oh, look at that, man. We can definitely sell these tranks and we can sell the crack. We can really sell everything. I'm gonna go ahead and sell. Yeah, we can sell everything except for. Oh, well, we can sell everything. Oh, we got 12 bags of heroin? When, when did we get heroin on us? I'm keeping the hash, actually. That's what we can't really sell. I'm, I'm going to sell the heroin. Uh, we're going to take the LSD and we'll take the meth. Alright, there we go. So, oh, damn, what the hell? Oh, damn, dude, we just made like 20,000 from that. How are we, bruh, I really, sometimes I just be wondering, how are we making so much money from just a couple of sales? But, you know, it adds up pretty quickly, so, you know what I'm saying? It adds up pretty quickly. Alright, we're going to head to this next plug. Alright, there we go, man. 0.4 miles until we reach the next plug. We're literally driving like half a mile or less to each plug from another plug, man. I kind of like that. It makes the, it makes the trips a little short, kind of short. We're gonna have to do some Sandy Shores trapping real soon. And we should have some deliveries to go out that way anyway. So, yeah, we should be able to do some uh, some Sandy Shores trapping real soon. As a matter of fact, I know we got some plugs out there, right? I know we got one right there, one right there. Yeah, we got a couple out here, actually. A decent amount, so we definitely need to go out there. Ooh, I almost hit dude. But we definitely need to go out there. I know we're gonna have. I know we're gonna have a decent amount of. Um, I know it should be a decent amount of uh, like heroin and uh, meth sales out there. I don't know, man. The country, Sandy Shores. That's where all the meth and stuff be made. All right. So MDMA is going for 458. Uh, LSD going for 753. We're going to sell the LSD and the meth. Pretty good prices right there. And we can take this cocaine because we already know there's a dude taking cocaine for 3,000 a piece. So we'll be able to go ahead and take that cocaine and make some money off that. We're already making some real good money, man. You know what I'm saying? Soon we definitely gonna be, uh, we're probably gonna be buying that trap spot in the next episode. I'ma just go ahead and we'll, we'll stack up for right now. Let me see, where which next plug should we go to? We should go to this one. We'll go to this one. I'm going to skip the plug on the pier. Actually, no. We need to go back over here so we can sell this cocaine. I don't know why. My map loves to do that, like, that slow glitching stuff, man. 
All right, so let's go ahead and let's make this sell. Make this cocaine sell real quick, man. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be some really good cocaine money to be made. We're gonna make at least $1,300 per bag of cocaine that we have. Cause this dude's taking cocaine for I think three thousand a bag, and we just bought it for seventeen hundred a bag. So we should be making at least a minimum thirteen hundred dollars per bag. I'm at the. I'm gonna hit this car wash up real quick too. All right, let's go ahead and let's see. Let's see about making this sale real quick. All right. Uh, yeah. See, three thousand a bag. We got fourteen bags. So good little profit right there to be made. Let me see. See, we had 155,000 now. We done made 45,000 already trapping today. That's pretty damn high. You know what I'm saying? That's a lot. All right, let's go ahead and head up north. We're gonna hit up these dudes up here in uh, North Los Santos. Hit up these dudes up here in North Los Santos. Before we even go out that way though, I'm gonna hit this car wash. You know what I'm saying? Gotta keep the, gotta keep the new truck looking good. So let's go ahead and hit this car wash real quick. All right, and hopefully you guys have been enjoying the videos recently, man. I've been seeing a lot of comments from a lot of you guys. You guys are really enjoying the type of uh, content that I've been doing. And I I'm, I'm really thankful for that. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm glad you guys are enjoying the content because it's actually making me want to continue to keep posting. Like, I don't think, like, I've lost my motivation a couple times, but... At the end of the day, I still end up wanting to still make videos and come back post. Like I love making videos, man. I don't, I don't think I'm, I don't, I don't really think I'm ever gonna stop making videos unless I truly, truly have to. I'm gonna keep making videos though, none of the, like regardless though. You know what I'm saying, man? I'm gonna just keep grinding, keep doing what I do. I'm gonna just keep trying to make more videos, keep trying to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? And I'm about to start revamping, bringing more games, more series, all types of stuff, man. We're about to have the channel really popping, man. Like 5M, I'm finna stop procrastinating on 5M and really hop on 5M. I've been procrastinating that for months now, man. So it's it's just really I just don't know I just don't know exactly how I wanna really do the things. And it's like I'll have to rely on other people kinda too, uh, to do that to do those videos. That's one of like one of the main reasons why I don't do 5M just yet. It's like I don't like relying on other people. Uh, you know, I don't like relying on other people to make my videos and, you know, do my work and stuff. So it's like that's one of the main reasons why. So I'm gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to see. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Cause eventually, what it's gonna come down to doing that fight. What the fuck? Doing that fight. He just he just ate the wall just to eat the wall. But doing the five M stuff, I know if I do it with a select few friends, like I got it's a couple friends that's been waiting on me to start doing five M. And if I start doing five M with them, we're basically gonna have to like plan times and stuff that we're actually gonna pick and record. And that's what I don't want to do. I used to do that when I was trying to grow a, a Minecraft channel, like back in 2015, and it, it was all right. It wasn't it wasn't too bad, but it's just like I don't know. It's like it's too it, it's a little too coordinated for me. I really don't like I really don't like stuff that's so coordinated. I like to just you know what I'm saying, wing it kind of. You know what I'm saying? I like I like the spontaneousness of not knowing what's gonna happen and how things are gonna happen and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying, man? But bump it, man. We're gonna end up, we're gonna hop on 5M. I really wanna go ahead and do that. I really wanna do, I definitely wanna do that. I've been procrastinating on it for too long. Let's go ahead and take this cocaine. We can make some more money off that. Oh, we can make some money off this heroin too. Holy shit. $840 a bag of heroin. That's profit right there. $16 per bag of meth? Like what? Let's go. Give me all of that. I said we're heading back south again. We're making real good profits right now. All right, let's go ahead and head to this next dude. This next dude up here definitely should have a little something, something for us. All right, here we go. Let's go ahead and pull up on him. We're gonna see how this gonna go. Should be able to make some real good sales right here. Go. Let's see what this dude has. Oh, look at that. More cocaine. That's what I'm talking about. Let me get that. And more heroin. Not too much more, but he still has more. Um, we can sell the MDMA for 410 to him. 
And then we can sell the meth for 70. I think we can get like over a hundred dollars for that meth. So I'm gonna hold on to the meth for a little longer. I'm gonna go ahead and take this uh, LSD too. Yeah, we're gonna be able to have to, I'm gonna sell one bag of meth just so we can go ahead and get that last bag of LSD. Only because I know we can find some good, some good profits. All right, now I think that's the last plug that's like up here. Let's go ahead and grab us something to eat real quick. And then we're gonna head back south to the other plugs again. Cause definitely some money to be made down there with those guys. All right, let's go ahead and let's grab us some, let's go grab us some meal real quick. I actually need to save my game too. I think I, I don't even remember it if I even save my game in this episode. So I'm gonna go ahead and save my game after we get something to eat real quick. Up and at him, you already know. We, uh, we over here at the up and at him. All right, so let's go ahead and do a turn, there we go. All right, so let's go ahead and see. Let's go ahead and uh, get us something to eat. Let me see. Oh, it's E. Okay. That's an interesting vibe you got, baby. How's it going? What's good? You, what's, what's good, girl? What, what you up to? Uh, man, you know what? We're going to leave, but we ain't even going to do it. A lot of you guys have been wanting me to actually have Franklin, like, start a family and stuff like that and get a girl and all that. And I'm, I'm actually thinking about it, man. I'm really thinking about it now. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to see... I'm gonna actually see about doing that for this season. So, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna see how that's gonna go. Hopefully you guys uh, be patient with your boy. Cause it's gonna it's gonna be a couple of things that I gotta do. Like I wanna make sure uh, that I can I wanna make sure that I can um, like uh, repeatedly spawn in the same pad. I don't wanna have to I don't wanna have to like risk starting up something and then losing what I started and not being able to redo it again. So that's the main reason why I didn't do it. Uh, before but we're gonna we're gonna try it out we're gonna try it now we're gonna try it now all right man we got 1.2 miles until we make it back to this plug so we can go ahead and uh, make these couple of sales so let me go ahead let's go around now this ram we're actually gonna go ahead and i forgot we didn't even like really pay for this ram or anything we're gonna go ahead and uh we're gonna rent to own this ram and uh i guess what we could do is we'll pay since it is on some 34 inch floaters, um, you know what I'm saying, it is 2019, we'll pay about $85,000 for it, but we won't pay $85,000 in a whole, man. We're gonna, like I did say, we're gonna rent, or basically finance it, and we'll pay about, we'll pay $15,000 per episode until the $85,000 is gone. So, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do that now. Let's go to subtract $15,000. Let me see. Let's go to subtract fifteen thousand. All right, so that's ten thousand right there. Wait, what the? It says we only have seventy-six thousand dollars. Is that because of all the drugs that we bought? Damn. One, two, three, four, five. I was not expecting that. Like, damn, we got that. Like, that's ex that's how expensive the drugs that we have on us is. We was at one hundred fifty-five thousand, and then you know now we're at seventy-six thousand. Like, what? That's half our money. We just spent $75,000 on drugs? What? Holy shit. Jesus. So that lets me know we're about to make some real good money right here from this plug. We should make some real good money from this plug. All right, let's go ahead. Let's make this sale. Look at this, man. Yeah, we got 30 bags of cocaine. That's why. Yeah, that's definitely why. Look at that. That price is going all the way up. Look at that. Ooh, we $162,000. Uh, we can go to sell the LSD as well. Look at that, $174,000 to sell the uh, heroin. And we should hit 200 k Yep, there go 200 k 210 k to be exact. Okay. And we'll go to sell the meth. It's $11 more than the last dude, so we'll go ahead and do that. Now, the hash, we're going to have to keep the hash. We haven't found anybody that's taking that for a, a decent price yet. But all right, so with that being said, man, that's just basically it. We done did that, man. We done made some real good money. Some real good money, man. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this episode. If you guys did, make sure you guys drop a like down below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Make sure you guys follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, and Twitter. Links are in the description down below. But we're about to go ahead and take this round back to the house. Considering that this is going to be a car that we're going to keep, I'm, I'm more than likely probably going to be parking this truck at the uh, rim shop more than anything. 
uh, just because I think it'll be a little bit easier. And plus, that rim shop is like another garage for us too. I don't want to have too many uh, too many cars at our house. So what I'll do is we'll probably pick an episode where we're gonna we're probably gonna haul we'll probably haul this truck. Uh, I mean, we'll probably haul one of our cars over here to the. Um, to the uh, spot so we can go ahead and you know what I'm saying we'll, we'll go ahead and leave the truck there and drive one of the cars around but yeah man hopefully you guys did enjoy make sure you guys follow me on Instagram Snapchat and Twitter links are in the description down below make sure you guys drop a like down below as well make sure you guys turn on those post notifications because daily live streams every single day man I've already done a GTA 4 live stream today so you know what I'm saying hopefully you guys did enjoy that and I will catch you guys in the next one man peace on out